Hello and welcome to tonight's homework help for Thursday night, January 24th, 2012. We're going to jump right in with finding the part. It says shade each model to match the phrase and show your work. Uh, I think there's a, actually a m mistake on um, this uh, example here. So there should be should be split up into uh, 14 blocks. I didn't split them up evenly, unfortunately, but um, let's just pretend that they're even. Uh, and so uh, if we were going to split it up into 14 blocks here, um, and it says we're dealing with 50%, which we know 50% ends up being the fraction one out of two. So out of all of these squares, we're going to shade in seven of them, or one of these red rectangles. And if we shade in one of these red rectangles, we end up with seven boxes shaded out of a total of 14. So our answer there is seven. I'll do the next one for you guys so it's a, a little more clear. So we're doing 70% of 40. Well, 70% um, 70, 70 out of 100. I know I can simplify that uh, by canceling a factor of 10 from the top and bottom. So I'm left with 7 over 10 as my new ratio. And that tells me that I'm going to be dealing with uh, um, 10 segments. So I'm going to go ahead and split this grid up into 10 segments. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, uh, I'm going to sh uh, shade in seven of those. So let's just shade, the, shade these guys in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven of these red uh, rectangles. Uh, and then I want to figure out how many of these boxes I have. We'll have one, two, three, four for each um, uh, for each red rectangle. And then I have seven of these red rectangles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have, I have four boxes in each rectangle and seven rectangles. That's 28 boxes. So that means that 70% of 40 or seven uh, over 10 of 40 is 28. Okay, and so you just do the shading to figure out what we're interested in is how many of the single boxes you end up shading in. Okay, uh, on part two, a little bit lower here, um, on this example, create a proportion to calculate the following, show your work. What is 50% of 14? So now this is where we're doing the math part of it and not just the shading. So 50% is, we write as 50 over 100 equals some number out of our total of 14. So 14 goes on the bottom because uh, we're comparing some other number to 14, just like we're comparing 50 to 100. Um, and then you cross multiply here, 50 times 14 is 700, uh, 100, and then we're gonna divide by this number here. Um, so 700 divided by 100 ends up being seven. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same uh, one. Uh, by the way, if you notice, um, all of these figures up here, whoops, all of these uh, figures up here uh, should yield or give you the same answers as the ones uh, down here because they're the exact same problem. So you should end up with the same answers in these, but you need to show your work here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do uh, this next one here. What is 70% of 40? Well, that's 70 over 100, and that's equal to uh, that's we don't know what the actual number is, but it's out of 40. So, uh, like Mr. Slepper was showing us in class, if we cross multiply these two and then divide by this number, we should get our answer. Well, 70, 70 times 40 is um, well, 7 times 4 is 28, and then I've got the two zeros, so I'll add the two trailing zeros, and then I'm dividing that by the hundred. Well, those last two zeros cancel with the 100, leaving a 1 on the bottom and 28 on the top. So my answer is 28, which just matches, exactly matches the example I did up there. Okay, 
Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the back side. Oh, and before we do, remember to show your work. This is showing your work, okay? Be sure to shade up above because that's showing your work on part one. Let's go ahead and move to the back side. Okay, and here we are on the back side. What's my number? Mandy and David are uh, playing a number game. My number is it's smaller than 20, it's a multiple of 3, and a multiple of 5. Um, what is Mandy's number? So you have to, if it's a multiple of 3, you can count by 3s and list everything. Uh, you know, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, uh, 18, uh, and so on. Uh, multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, so it's got to be, it's got to fit both of the requirements. It's got to be both a multiple of 3 and a multiple of 5, and it should be smaller than 20. You write your number here, and then uh, you're going to show how you figured it out. So um, you could just list the multiples of 3 here, and then list the multiples of 5 here, and then you can show which ones where they match, um, and show, just do them up to 20, obviously, because the first criteria, or first requirement is that it's smaller than 20. Okay, uh, and then we look down here, um, Oops. Uh, uh, this guy, David, uh, my number is larger than 20 but smaller than 30. So it's in between 20 and 30. Uh, so it's not actually 20 or 30, so it's either 21 all the way up to 29. Uh, and it should be a multiple of 7 and a multiple of 2. So I would just do the same thing, list the f multiples of 7 that are between 20 and uh, 30. So it lists the multiples of 7, and then lists the multiples of 2 that exist between 20 and 30. And uh, there should only be one that matches, and that should be David's, David's number. On um, part 3, it says Mandy thinks of the number 18. Uh, we, want you, we want you to come up with your own three clues that will help, help us figure out... Um, what that number is correctly. But you got to make sure that those three clues all point to only 18. So they can't just be clues that might point to any other number besides 18. So one of the clues could be, you know, it's less than 20. Um, um, and they have to be clues that are mathematical, so not your favorite sports team number or something, you know. Oh, so-and-so wears what number on his football team or something like that. Now, it's got to be mathematical, okay? Uh, if you have any further questions or concerns, feel free to contact either Mr. Slepper or myself. You can call or text. Our numbers are below. And um, good night, good luck, and go Bears! Rawr!